Hello Python programmers, this is AK. By the way, I'm in the YouTube shorts right now. In this short video, I'm going to explain about a new problem that I faced. The problem is, you can see here, I'm currently attending one competition on Kaggle, which is worth of 50,000 US dollars. But I'm not here to explain the whole stuff that I did. Instead of explaining, I will post a full-fledged video about this in future. Okay, but I want to explain one thing from this video. Currently, I'm running this script in a Kaggle kernel. You can see the statistics of the resources that I consumed till now. So according to my case, I'm training nearly 1.5 lakh of data from a Kaggle dataset. So there are three resources that are available to train a model that you want, like TPU, CPU and GPU. So these are the three powers you can use uh, to train a model that you want. And if you're using any machine learning approaches from SKLearn, it won't consume the GPU powers from Kaggle kernel. So what special in the GPU means, if you're training two models parallelly with CPU and GPU power, the GPU power will easily overtake the CPU power. So that's why the GPU are very special and it is very costly to buy. So only few modules has the potential to access the GPU support from Kaggle. The libraries are TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch. So if you're training a machine learning model with a huge amount of data like me, I suggest you to take a deep learning approach by using this above mentioned libraries. Okay, if you're training a machine learning model, even though if you are turned on GPU power, it won't access any GPU support from Kaggle kernel. So this is the concept that I found. And if you want to share this information, click the share button and share this link to all the guys who don't know about this stuff. So that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next video.